World Earthquake Update, we're heading over to Papua New Guinea in Oceania, where they experienced recently a 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake at a depth of 62 miles, which puts the hypocenter autofocus and intermediate depth. This happened on the eastern section of the country, on the Huon Peninsula, and close to a town called Ley. And this is near the Bismarck Archipelago. In the same area, there's been previous large earthquakes, notably a 7.6 in 2022, a 6.7 and a 6.9 both in 2023. So this area is very active because of the tectonic makeup of this area of Oceania, where we have these two large plates, the Pacific Plate and the Indo-Australian Plate, and in between, we have Papua New Guinea, which is sandwiched in and amongst some micro and minor plates, notably the South Bismarck Plate and the North Bismarck Plate, and also the Caroline Plate, which is part of the Pacific Plate, which then has a boundary with the Philippine Plate. And we have these thrust belts and these different fault lines going across from east to west across Papua New Guinea. Now, the epicenter was located at 6.7 degrees south and 146.7 degrees east, which puts it along the Ramu Markham Fault Zone, or the RMFZ. And this is a thrust fault, extending at least 60 kilometers. And this means that it's a reverse dip-slip fault, whereby the hanging wall has a certain angle whereby the motion of the hanging wall is pushing up which is the reverse, at a certain speed, creating a thrust fault. And these types of faults are associated with large, powerful earthquakes. The epicenter is also next to the New Britain Trench, which is a subduction zone extending out into the Coral Sea off the coast of eastern Papua New Guinea. And this image of this section of Oceania shows the depths of the ocean. It shows the shallow areas and even the trenches and subduction zones around the edge of the Pacific Plate and the Caroline Plate. 